Father, could we say, please? He wants to be seen as a plain-speaking politician who'll put the heart no. back into Labour, in touch with ordinary people, not no. the Westminster elite. Like they love your hot chocolate, you see, that's what she always looks forward to. Andy Burnham says Labour's got to be bolder and ditch yeah. the gimmicky policies. The general rule I applied at the election just gone, the longer the drive we were walking down uh, to knock on the door, the less we had to say to the people who answered the door, and you need a, a broader manifesto. Some of those who've been rudest about you say you're just more of the same, that you're Ed Miliband with a northern accent. Well, you know, I'd, I would completely uh, reject that. I'm my, my own man. The reason I'm standing is that I've become disillusioned with modern politics myself. And I've seen how modern politics leaves people completely cold and they're fed up with it. I've seen that, I feel it. You know, I represent the constituency where I grew up. And, you know, I know how people feel about politics. As I said at the beginning, you know, people haven't drifted away from Labour. Labour has drifted away from them. Andy Burnham was born in Liverpool and is a passionate Everton fan. He led the campaign for a public inquiry into the Hillsborough disaster and he was health secretary. On policy, he favours a benefit cap in principle, wants to renationalise the railways and would integrate health and social care. To his friends, Andy Burnham is the embodiment of aspiration, a down-to-earth state school boy who won a place at Cambridge University and went on to serve in the cabinet. He introduced me saying the person that most reminds him of John Smith, which I was like, I was like, I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. He favours higher taxes on the wealthy to bring down the deficit and thinks Labour's been too timid on immigration controls. Mr Burnham supports a tax on people's estates when they die to fund social care. The party that created the NHS in the last century to free people from the fear of medical fees should bring forward a, a same kind of bold reform in this century uh, to make sure that uh, whoever gets Alzheimer's or dementia isn't, doesn't lose everything just because of the cost of their care. Are you worried that the immediate reaction from some is to say you want a death tax? Yeah, but this is the problem, you see. Labour's been worried about these kind of things in the past and therefore said, oh, well, we won't do it because they're worried about the presentation. This is Labour's problem. Yeah. We've lost that courage, the courage of our convictions to think big. Andy Burnham's critics say he lacks vision and being an ordinary bloke isn't enough to inspire voters. But his supporters say he's the only one who can bring harmony to Labour after a bruising leadership battle. Vicky Young, BBC News.